Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie Bonomo. Today I am really excited to be doing a writing challenge. I have been challenged by fellow author tuber Anna Taylor. I will leave her somewhere on the screen as well as link down below. Anna had reached out to me earlier in the month to ask if I wanted to participate in a challenge where we would both give each other a prompt and a place to submit. So we would have like a submission area in mind for each other and we would have two weeks to write edit send it over to each other do some feedback on the short stories swap it back edit and submit it so two weeks is not a lot of time but it's doable and i am really excited for this challenge so i'm i'm just so happy that anna thought of me and asked me to do this with her so today is february 14th Happy Valentine's Day. And this challenge officially starts tomorrow. So I wanted to do a quick intro about what is going on and my little thoughts on what I'm sending to Anna. So I actually already drafted the email that I'm gonna be sending to Anna. I thought it would be a little bit better to do this in advance because I didn't wanna forget. I have a bad memory sometimes. I get a little all over the place, the ADHD brain. And I figured if I drafted it, in advance one it would sit in my draft and I'd have that little like number which would bother me a lot so I'd look at it quite often and two I would already have it done and I would know that you know if I didn't do it at all I would much more easily forget it so anyway I am really excited because I am gonna have Anna submit to one of my favorite flash fiction websites which is Havoc and if you guys aren't new here, then you may remember that I got a flash fiction piece published in Havoc last October. So I think Havoc is a really great place to share stories and they have so much creativity and they also have their own prompts. So what I decided to do was within the prompt that they already have, I gave Anna a few specifications on things that she had to include in her short story. So it is only 1000 words for Havoc. So I think it's gonna be a little challenging, but also potentially really fun. And I'm hoping that she likes the prompt I'm going to send her. I am kind of nervous about what she's gonna send me. I have no idea like what she's going to, like how she's gonna choose her prompt. Like, is she gonna give me like the start of a sentence? Is she gonna do like what I did where it's like, okay, you have to include these buzzwords in your piece. Or is it gonna be more like Anna was walking home on a rainy day when like the aliens attacked, you know? <laughs> like it could be, like it could be anything. There's so many different ways you can create a prompt. So I'm excited and I am nervous as all hell. I am like, oh my God, I have a, a real deadline and it's gonna be a real deadline because like our goal is to submit by February 29th. We're starting tomorrow, the 15th, and we have to have everything written, edited, swapped, and ready to submit in two weeks. So yeah, it's gonna be a wild time, but I'm so excited to take you on this journey to see how everything goes. And be sure to also go check out Anna's vlog where she is gonna be taking you on her own progress with the prompt that I gave her. So I will come back in the morning or sometime maybe in the afternoon. Anna is in Alaska. <laughs> So she is a couple hours behind me. So when I wake up to get ready tomorrow, which I wake up at 5 a.m. Eastern time, it's going to be like very early, like one in the morning for her. So she probably will get it for a few hours after that. But I will have it sent out and ready to go for her. So, all right, I will check back in in the morning. Okay, guys, so it is the 15th it's actually almost 6 30 and i'm about to jump in the shower and go to work but i wanted to really quickly send off my email to anna so it is probably very early she is probably sleeping but here's my prompt and sent so now we wait to get mine probably later today and then the challenge starts okay guys I have my emotional support latte with me and I am about to open Anna's email. I saw it came through on my phone. I just got home from work. So we are gonna open it and see what my challenge is. 
Are you excited? I, I'm a little of both, excited and nervous. Especially when she starts it off. I hope you have fun with this one. Is that sarcastic? <laughs> oh, shit, that's good. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's really funny. We both chose a, like a magazine that already has like another prompt. So we're doing a prompt within a prompt for each other. That is so funny. I love how that worked out. Okay, oh, this is cool. Okay, so Anna's prompt is you walk through the same door again and again and again. That is really fun and that, that could be, and, it's a, and her genre she picked for me is horror. Now I gave the genre open as long as it fit in Havoc's themes for her. So Havoc accepts five different genres. So I said she could pick whichever one. She did specify genre is horror for me, which is my fave as we know. And it's elegant literature, which I don't know much about. The only reason I know anything of elegant is because Anna actually sent me something else regarding this on an off topic thing one time and I looked into them. So I'm glad she included the theme for me. <laughs> and it's doubles and doppelgangers and a lock. And the word lock needs to be included in the, the work in some capacity, which is again, really funny because I did the same thing where I gave her two words she had to include in her story. This is really funny. Like we were both on the same wavelength accidentally, just different magazines and different themes. This sounds really fun. Um, so now I'm gonna spend probably the rest of the night thinking about how I want to write this. I mean, walking through the same door again and again and again can be so many different things. Um, so yeah, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think on it and figure out where we're going from here. Hi guys, it is Monday, February 19th. So I have had a few days to think over my prompt. In all honesty, I wanted to write my first draft yesterday on Sunday because I had the whole day to myself, like we didn't have plans and then we ended up having plans. And truthfully, I might have been a little drunk on Saturday night because we had a bookish themed drink night. If you're interested, I did form a TikTok on the the drinks that we had, and it was really fun. I had a, I had a great time. I needed it to kind of refill my well, and then I just felt mentally hungover. Like I felt fine the next day, but like I was I woke up at 4 a.m. and then couldn't go back to sleep, so I was up all day and just like sluggish. So I just kind of. I just chilled. I read a little bit. I've been reading The Way of Kings and I hung out with Greg and I, I just didn't do anything yesterday. I didn't even clean, which is really weird for me. Normally I pick up at least a little bit. The only thing I did was like I kind of cleaned up from dinner just so my kitchen wasn't a mess. So today I'm off for President's Day and it's very exciting. So it feels like Sunday again, like I get a Sunday 2.0 and I do need to make the most of today. So I have spent the majority of the morning so far like cleaning up and, and doing some things. And now I'm gonna do some Pomodoro, I think. I am gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and I'm gonna see how many words I can get. Historically, I know I could normally write between like 700 and 800 words in a half hour. I have the premise of what I wanna write. Like I've been thinking on it and I was thinking of kind of making somewhat of this story like a metaphor for anxiety so like it's like a psychological horror with like the idea of like being hunted by your anxiety i would love if i can get this in a good first draft and i would like to have the first draft done by today ideally i could do that because i can't go over 2000 words and i already kind of have like a thousand to a 1500 word goal so I think I can get the first draft done today. It's just as long as I actually sit and write. So because of that, and because I know I still have other stuff to do, like I wanna read more today, I wanna finish my cleaning, I have all my laundry to do, because again, I did nothing yesterday. And I guess that's probably what I needed, but because of that, I do need to get going. I also have book club tonight at seven. So that means like I also have less time because I can't just work on this all night today. So it is 10.30 in the morning now. We are going to write until about, like it's 10.37. So by the time I start writing, it's gonna be like 10.40. So by 11.10, we're gonna see how far we get. And I also have to do some other writing things for another vlog I'm doing. So we have a lot. We put, we put 
a lot of pressure on today, but I'm, I'm feeling good. And since I had a rest day yesterday, I think I can accomplish it. So let's get to writing. Hi guys, so it is two o'clock on the dot right now and I took a little break. I changed my laundry over, I ate lunch and then I got back to wording and so I finished my first draft of the story. It sits at 2,003 words, which is three over the limit so I do need to go and cut some things but I got the overall feel for it done and out of the way and I feel pretty good about that. So I think I already said that I have a like class that starts at three that I'm gonna jump into. And I think now, since it's two o'clock, I think I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill for a half hour because I have been wanting to keep that going. And since I have the day off, I might as well. And then I will shower and then jump into my three o'clock class. And I think that only lasts an hour or two. And then Greg wanted to go somewhere for 4.30 to meet someone potentially to sell something, so. I'm gonna let this sit for a while. I'm gonna come back to it maybe tonight. Most likely it's gonna be tomorrow so I can sit on it one more night, but I am happy that I got the story out. I was a little bit nervous about writing this at first. I, I don't know why, like I just didn't think the words were gonna come and then they did. So overall, I'm feeling pretty good about the first draft, which means that I should be able to give it to Anna either tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest. And that gives her plenty of time, I mean, Week one ends on Thursday, so she should have plenty of time to review it and give me feedback where I can edit it so I can still submit it by the 29th. So I'm feeling pretty good. Even if the story doesn't go anywhere, like I, I like the idea of it and the horror that is our mind. <laughs> That's essentially what this is about. So, okay, I'm gonna go do some things and I will check back in when I, I have movement one way or another. Just sent my story to Anna, so can't wait to see what her thoughts are for her edits, and yeah, I'm really excited. Hi friends, so it is Friday, the 23rd of February, and Anna sent me her feedback. I want to dive right into her feedback on my short story. She has a lot, which is understandable. I know that my, sh especially with my short fiction, I do tend to like fast draft and then I get really stuck on like how to edit it, which is weird. And sometimes it takes me a while, but with short fiction, because it needs to be like so poignant and quick, I love having extra eyes on it because people point out things that like I would just like completely glaze over. And with in particular, I know sometimes my drafts can be vague at first. I'll have an idea and I want to execute it well, but it's not there. And it almost never is. Like no one's first draft is perfect, but I really wanna have this like lurking sense that like the main character is experiencing anxiety, but we don't know as the reader that that's what it is. And instead it seems like this like horrific setting and an issue that's happening instead, but really like it's a metaphor for anxiety. So that's what I'm trying to do with it, and I know it's gonna need some work, but I need to give her her feedback. And I don't want to delay on that because she deserves to have the same amount of time that I do in editing it. So before I look into her feedback for my short story, I'm gonna go ahead and read through hers. Now hers is under a thousand words because that is the prompt that I chose from her. So that should give me plenty of time tonight to play around, um, read it a few times, maybe edit the, the document itself and then put like together a cover letter of like what things she could do to um, work on it. So I'm excited, but I do wanna prioritize her feedback first. She is like three or four hours behind me time zone wise. So it is about 6.50 right now at night which means that it'll be like what, 250 maybe, one fi I don't really know. I can't, I don't know what time zones are. I'm really bad at that, but that should mean that like she'll have a similar amount of time by the time she actually gets to hers. So let's stop rambling. Let's get into the work and let's do some short story feedback. <sighs> okay, it is 8.05. I've spent a little over an hour writing my feedback. I think I did pretty concisely. Um, given that it's only a thousand, I really wanted to focus on tightening things up 
and I left a lot of inline comments and then some like actual like editing stuff too since I know our goal is to edit and send this so I did a little bit more grammatical feedback than I normally would do but I want to help Anna the most I can given that we're both submitting this by the end of the week so I did a lot of inline stuff and then I kind of like summarized some of the things like to be able to explain a little bit more in my email so I'm about to send that now and now we wait. So I was gonna try to jump right into my feedback from Anna on my short story, but I know that it's gonna take me a while. I just know that there's a lot. And um, the one thing I noticed, which I didn't really get into, but I saw one comment about maybe switching points of view, which I'm not opposed to, even though it is a little bit more of an undertaking. It is interesting, like normally I do write third person in my short stories, but I decided to write first person in mine. And funny enough, because normally I like that, um, like the little bit of the removed point of view, but I felt like this one being that it's anxiety would be better in first person. And Anna actually had the opposite idea where being a little bit more removed would be maybe better for the story so that's the only like small thing i saw when i had opened the email and i didn't read it through otherwise so that's just something to think about but i i may end up switching the points of view we'll see obviously that changes things but it's not the worst given that this is a short story so i think i'm gonna take a break for the night because my I have been doing a lot of sitting and I worked all day and I have a lot of time tomorrow and Sunday to keep writing and working on things I'm also doing another vlog currently and for that vlog I have to give someone feedback in and that seems very dense so because of that I may take a break for tonight and then dive into more feedback stuff tomorrow we'll see Maybe, maybe I'll continue writing, I don't know, but I am happy that I got this out of the way so that I can at least give Anna time to do edits. So with that, I'll probably be back tomorrow with more updates. Hi guys, it is Monday the 26th. We have four days left to edit and submit this. And I think Anna's commentary was really good. I feel great with the first round of it, like heavy edits that I've done. I did go ahead and change to third person. I added a little bit more like details here and there to hopefully make it feel like it is her turning in on herself. Maybe the possibility that like there is an escape from this hellhole that she's in. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. So I am actually just gonna, I, I did email Anna yesterday to see if she was hopefully interested in reading it one more time before I submit. I think I am just gonna go ahead and send it to her. And if she doesn't have time, so be it. My first round to have to, to do. But I'm hopeful that she can read it and then vice versa, I will be able to read her next draft too. But obviously we're kind of cutting down. Like we spent the first week writing and editing and giving back feedback. So now we're like coming down to the wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it now and then we'll wait. If she sends it back to me, then I will edit one more time before sending it off. If not, then I'll probably be back when I'm about to send it. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see. We'll see how things go. All right, guys, so it is the 27th and Anna sent me a lot of comments back and I am gonna edit another round. Hi friends, so it is eight o'clock on the 27th. I filmed a real clip in the morning because I don't usually go into work till 10 on Tuesdays and I was like, oh, let me look at this story. I only did like part of it. Um, I did like the minor changes and then I ended up kind of leaving it and I'm like, I'm gonna come look at it anyway later tonight before I decide to submit it. And I'm glad I did because Anna did read it one more time and gave me a little bit more feedback again. Um, some things that I think are gonna be really helpful. But my my day was pretty long. Like I had a very busy work day. Um, thankfully I had a couple cancellations so I got to breathe a little bit more and it was really nice. So when one of my clients canceled, I walked around outside and I just kind of caught up on social media things. I feel very behind on Instagram. I was really trying to do like three posts a week and I'm really bad at it. And I know they don't have to be like anything crazy but I'm just like, I want them to be nicer looking and 
just not happening. But I was like, okay. I have a deadline for the short story though, so I can't think about anything else. I just gotta work on the short story. And because of that, so I have, thankfully, I was smart this time. Normally when I do short stories, I edit the same document. So I change everything over and over again. This time I had a feeling that I wanted to make new versions. So completely like copy paste, put it into a new document. And I'm really glad I did because in the original draft, I had this description of the hotel and I knew there was a purpose for it, but I couldn't figure out like why at the time because I didn't really like I really wasn't focusing on the theme and, and narrowing it down so initially especially when Anna read it you know the opulence of this hotel was kind of like not necessary but as I wrote my second draft and I zeroed in on like the anxiety of the main character and how this is playing into the horror scene and it was like you should probably bring that back because it makes sense now Thankfully, I have my previous version, so I can just copy and paste and throw it in where it fits now. But yeah, I just wanted to share that a little bit too, of like why you shouldn't really get rid of your old drafts. And I think this is a good lesson for me to remember too, like each time I edit, like open a new draft. Also good for novel writing, a reason why you shouldn't probably edit what you write until you go into a new draft because you never know like what actually worked that you no longer have because you edited it out already. So, okay, that's my ramble. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and this is probably gonna be my third and final draft. So, wish me well. Hi friends, it is about eight o'clock on February 28th. We are in the final stretch. I just read my, my short story over one more time and sent it off for Anna for a final read through to see if there's anything that needs to be tightened up. I read through Anna's about three times tonight just to see uh, if, if there was anything else I could catch for her. And then she's gonna swap it back to me by tomorrow so I can read it over one more time for her as well. But I honestly think in two weeks time, the two of us have really done a lot of work together and for our stories and each other's stories. And I'm just really proud of both of us, to be honest. Like, I'm not just saying that to be like, this is a great like challenge that we had, but it really is like for both of I, at least for me, I can definitely speak with confidence that both providing quick turnaround feedback as well as writing a story in a very small time frame has been a very fun and fulfilling challenge. So, so we are almost there. Um, I did go ahead and I pretty much paid my submission fee already. So for Elegant, there's basically like two options. You could either submit it for free, like you don't have to pay something. And if it gets accepted, then I would get the publishing rate of 10 cents per word. But I could also do a $10 like subscription fee. So basically like $10 to read and, and participate in all like this stuff. And that $10 goes towards a contest. So in addition to getting paid the 10 cents per word, I could also potentially win $3,000. And I figured $10 for that chance might as well. So anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to have, you know, like I said, Anna read it one more time. I'll read her story one more time. And tomorrow it's done. We are going to be submitting. And then that is the end of this challenge. So I'll kind of come back with my final thoughts once I hit submit. It is February 29th. I am working on Anna's short story to send her last minute edits. And then I'm working on mine. Hi friends, so we are at the end of the challenge. We have come to submission. I already chatted with Anna, Anna submitted hers as well, and we are done, now we just wait. <laughs> Overall, I, f I do feel really good about this story. I really like it, I think it definitely got to where it needed to be with Anna's help, and I don't think I could have done that on my own. But this 
submission process is definitely a lot different than the others I've done before. So with all the other magazines I have tried to submit to, if you get accepted, you then get like editorial feedback after. This is a very unique contest because if you get selected, the first like 10 winners essentially will get the pay rate of 10 cents per word. Um, with the main one that if you entered the contest, which I decided to go ahead and do because it was $10, you would also get like the 10 cents per word plus $3,000. So they do pay you a professional rate. However, whatever you submit will get published. So there is no editorial feedback whatsoever. Like you either get rejected or you get accepted and that is what's published, which is wild to me and kind of daunting but also kind of cool because then that means just like one day I might wake up and be like, hey, I have a published story or not, you know? <laughs> but it's it's definitely like just an interesting concept. So I did go ahead and, and do the $10 submission fee for the contest because hey, if I win $3,000, I win $3,000 and that's, that is awesome. That'll pay for my Boston trip, you know? <laughs> and if I don't and I get like a secondary place, then I'll still get like money for my work. And then I think like up until, I'm trying to remember, I think it's like the like from like 11th through 30th place or something like that gets like $20. So like either way, that's kind of cool. Like, so I have like out of 30 people, there's a potential that like I could get money, you know? And then on top of that, like, I don't know. It's just been, it was an interesting process. There's already, as of la yesterday, there's 127 submission entries. So I know at least how many people I'm going up against, which is a lot, you know, not, not the worst, but it's still a lot. And that's as of yesterday, not to say who else is like last minute with the last four hours and also submitting. <sighs> I'm, I'm here, you know, like I did it. And this was a really, really fun challenge overall. Like I put so much effort in the last two weeks of like working on this and editing and taking feedback in stride and also like accepting the challenge like not just the fact that like we had such a short time span but also like the challenge that Anna would present to me to make my work better and I think like a lot of her feedback was pretty solid and most of it I did accept in the end you know I just was like okay yeah that makes sense um, occasionally like I could challenge back and say like okay this is what my my thought process is with this or like this is what I was going for um, and she was really good with just saying like okay like let's see if we could do this instead and I just hope that my feedback was also <laughs> as helpful um, I like to pride myself on giving a lot of feedback but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good so I hope in this case that it was but I definitely I feel very honored to have had this exchange with her to provide feedback and receive feedback. And I am just very proud of both of us for this challenge. It was really fun. I would so do it again in the future. Maybe once I'm done actually writing my novel now because now I have to focus on that. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. I'm not sure when I will know. They said it's about a month time. So I may know by the end of March officially, but we shall wait and I will update you guys if and when I can and we'll go from there. So be sure to check out Anna's channel and watch her video. It will be going up at the same time. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for tuning into my video and my content and let me know what you think of this challenge and if maybe you wanna see something like this again in the future. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep your fingers crossed that me and Anna get published and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.